Murray, right here. Murray, shoot the one on the ground. Me? Yo! <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to another one. For those of you following along with the North Dakota videos, it is day three here in North Dakota. And today in this video, we got myself, we got my cousin Mike, and uh, we're going to be hunting some, a lot of corn, a whole bunch of corn, and it happens to be flooded corn. So uh, yeah, there's a, there's a whole crap ton of mallards. Once again, for those of you following along with the North Dakota videos, if you guys watched the last video, we're actually hunting Kind of the same spot. Uh, we're hunting the same 2,000 acres. We got permission on like 2,000 acres of land. So uh, yesterday we shot, uh, uh, I think, a five-man limit of mallards. It was pretty nar It was pretty gnarly. So uh, we're hoping to come out here and do the same thing. And I actually, I really want to do a, I want to do a, a catch and cook too, or a, a kill and cook, if you will. I want to. I got my little stove. I got a little pan. I want to. I want to shoot a duck. I want to eat it out there. So stay tuned, dudes. We're gonna get everything ready. We don't have a far walk at all, like a hundred yards. So stay tuned. You you won't be pissed. All right, dudes. We have arrived to the spot. Only about a five-minute walk. What are you thinking, Mike? Think we're gonna get them here? Uh, we'll find out. Then two hours of video come, we're gonna go somewhere else. Wise words. We're gonna set out decoys, get all that stuff going. We'll, we'll talk to you. All right, dudes, we are all set up. Got the decoy set up, and we are hiding uh, three rows back in the corn. I guess we just have to kind of wait. And you guys might be asking yourself after looking at this, thinking why the heck are you guys hunting this little hole? Well, these little holes are literally just everywhere in this corn and these the birds are just literally milling around from hole to hole to hole to hole to hole. So we're thinking we should get something to come in here at some point, so stay tuned. We're looking for green. Don't know if I said that yet. I want mallards. So stay tuned, let's shoot some ducks and cook them. <laughs> Look up. I see them going to that hole. They're locked on that hole. Yeah. I see that. Should we go over there? Nope. Huh? Yeah. Let's go. Alright, bro, amigos. It's not really like prime time or nothing, but we just had a big flock going to a hole like right over here, so. We're gonna go sit that, maybe even jump it. I don't know. I wanna get a duck to eat. Stay tuned. We're gonna go set up over there. Dudes, look at this little fun corn hole. This is gonna be nasty, dudes. These things are gonna be point blank in our faces. Yeehaw. Yee yee yeehaw. Once again, set stuff up. This could be gnarly. I'm pumped. <laughs> what would they do? 
I went back down. We're seeing birds. <laughs> I got the right one. Got mine. There's two. Come right in. <laughs> Let him land. Shoot him. Got mine. Got mine. We got more, Mike. We got more. We got more coming. Make him here. <laughs> hey, come. Come. Here they come. Come on, Meg. Come here. Stay. They're coming right in. They're about to come right over the corn. See them? Oh, they turned. Oh, no, here they come. Oh, they went down. They went down. There's more out there, too. Mike's better in the door, Mike. I smoked mine. <laughs> God, I missed mine twice, and I finally got a clear shot. Go f***ing on the girl. Smoked mine first shot, smoked it again. That's a kill, cook. That's a fire mop. Fire them up. Fire them up. Yeah, dudes, we get to cook them up now. Loner up high. Loner? Put her the hand up. Let me keep this one. Oh. Oh. Really? There's a mob out there. Mob? Mm. <laughs> Let me know when they're in range. I think the best way to do this, dudes, I'm just gonna literally do it right over my knee. I'm gonna take my fillet knife, and since we're just out in the out in the field, we're just gonna take the breasts for now. I'm just gonna just gonna cut a little patch. You guys probably can't see too well, but I'm just gonna cut a little patch right there and just rip this skin apart. This is about as fresh as it gets. <laughs> this thing is steaming. <laughs> Let's get her done. I gotta say, I've never cleaned, I've never flayed a duck on my, on over my knee. <laughs> yeah. It's a first for me. You know what I should have brought? What? A plate. I'll uh, use, I'll use the pan. Where is it? Will you hand me that pan, Mike? Yeah. It's right back here. Here we go, dudes. One flay done. Let's get the other one. And numero dos. <laughs> we got a loner coming in, dudes. Oh, he might do it dirty. I'm actually gonna, I flayed the hen. Yeah. And I'm actually gonna chunk it up a little bit. Here comes four. Huh? <laughs> How close was yours when you shot it? Ten feet? Oh my god, the thing was ten feet in front of me. <laughs> I'm sure the GoPro picked it up. <laughs> it was literally, I could... See the eyeballs I, I could have almost caught the thing. <laughs> no, not Here, that give close, you the nice one it was that close. Wants to land and I get the one flying through the corn. <laughs> yeah, right? Mine freaking is going to land. Mine was a foot from the water, I think. I don't know. I blacked out. <laughs> Just kidding. Gonna kind of try to find a... Let me set this here. Nice uh, level spot to put this thing. Also, really quick, want to give a huge shout out to Cast King for providing us with these freaking awesome flay knives. Twister on. We got a squirter. Michael, you got a lighter? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I knew the answer to that. Well, Let's find the best possible spot for this so we don't like start a forest corn fire or something. Let's set this on here. Here's your lighter. And really quick, dudes, here's the secret recipe we're using today. Believe it or not, all we had was some. Some Louis, some Louisiana style fish fry. So that's what we're gonna be using to season these suckers. Dude, this smells good with this fish fry. What is this? Louisiana fish fry. It's all Matt had. Also, big shout out to Matt for supplying us with this also. I'm gonna put just a little bit of water in here. 
here sizzling. Oh. Smoke signals. <laughs> I dropped the fork in the mud. Oh shit. The farmer's gonna be like, what the hell are they doing out there? You guys can't even see me cooking. That's better dudes. Check that out. I know a lot of people that uh, fry up duck, they like it kinda kinda medium rare. I like it. I'm a big uh, almost almost burnt. Like I like it cooked pretty good. How about you Mike? How do you like your duck? You like it bloody? Medium. Medium? Oh, it's a little medium already. She's done. This is done. Let me turn this off. Oh, that's high. Right, right here. Hurry, shoot the one on the ground. Me? Yo! <laughs> what did I shoot? You got mud all over your face. <laughs> my gun blew it in my face. There's pulled... another dad wall. Hey, Drake. Another Drake? Yeah, you got a Drake too. Yeah, another Drake ad wall. Hey, nice hump. <laughs> Just cooking up duck. I didn't want to water swat him, dudes. That's why I was quacking at him, trying to get him to get up. Yo! <laughs> They're freaking point blank already, so you got to let them. You can't be water swatting. All right, dudes. Well, he's uh, out looking for them duck, or out looking for his duck. Mine's dead right here in the water. Let's say, let's... Give her a taste. Give you a little close-up of it. A little, little duck nuggets. Oh. Dude, I think I took a head clean off. Dude, first bite, I got a BB. <laughs> yeah, I both broke my tooth. All right, we're trying this again. First bite, dudes, I got a BB. One of these, er, I took the hand and it was breasted pretty bad. Gotta be careful while eating duck. This is bomb, by the way. This is really good. The Louisiana is like a, like a lemon almost, lemon pepper or something. It's almost like sweet and spicy. Dude, this is bomb. Next day. This is super bomb. Lay down. All right. Oh, these little oh, That's so good. Come here, Meg. Good boy. I was sick of watching fly by. I seen how big it, it shot it right here. Really? At the tip of the corner. Oh yeah, you blasted me. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Shut up. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't care, but you I blasted know, yours me. Landed. I'm like, screw it, shoot it. Damn thing, you want to land in front of us. I like this one. All right, dudes. I really want to clean this duck and eat it again, but we only got like 20 more minutes of shooting time, so. I'm just gonna stand up, get get ready, and hopefully we can blast some more. Damn, did I whip that first shot. Hey, come. Yeah. Come. <laughs> yeah. Did I just shoot him? Dude, don't, don't, don't. Nice. Done, I shot them both in one shot, but the other one got back up. <laughs> Heck yeah. Drop it. Drop it. And we got about, we got two more minutes, dudes. Two more minutes. All right, dudes. It is exactly shooting time. Really quick, once again, I would like to give out a huge shout out to the Onyx hunting app just for, like, literally, we wouldn't have been able to, look, there's three more right here. Anyways, Mike and myself would like to give a huge shout out to Onyx once again. Yeah, if you were driving around out here and you've seen all these ducks, you, you would never find this. There's 400 
800 acres, I don't know. There's corn everywhere out here. You would never find a spot. You'd probably get lost coming back if it was dark like this, but we're right next to the road. That's, that's another thing. Especially in this corn, dudes. Like, it is so freaking easy to get lost. That's why, like, every every spot we and Michael have been going to, we've been putting a mark at where we park. And then, uh, obviously, we've been putting the marks on, like, these little potholes and stuff we find on the app. But literally a couple times this week in North Dakota, we would have been screwed if we didn't put that pin on the map because we're literally on... Michael messed up. Aren't we on 2,000 acres of corn? Yeah, but this little chunk is 300. Okay, this chunk's 300. I'm, I'm wrong. But literally, that's still a lot of corn, so huge shout out to the app. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, Kill and Cook. Oh, I'll probably name it Clean and Cook because of demonetization issues. But yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you could, like this video, share this video, smash that subscribe button, hit that bell next to that subscribe button, and... Uh, really quick, I want to give another huge shout out to CNS Custom Calls for hooking us all up. These calls are just, as you guys probably heard us, these calls are nasty. So big shout out to them. And if any of y'all are curious and want to, you know, check out the site or pick up one of these sexy calls, you can use my promo code, which is FSN15, and you guys can get 15% off your purchase. So yeah, go cop a call. So how many, how many did we end up with, Mike? Eight. Eight gad walls. Couple one's, drakes, one's breasted. Yeah, we got a one, so no uh, haters out there say we didn't keep it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely we kept it. But we still didn't get our limit. What are we, too short? Uh, four short. Four. Four short. Which isn't a big deal because, I mean, we scouted all day. We only came out here for two hours, so yeah, we, we, we had a lot of fun and we ate some good food. So without further ado, dudes, I guess all it's left to say is you guys start fishing more. Or in this case, you guys start hunting more. We will see you next time.